Now on your home for minor league baseball. MLB The Show has coverage from the AAA Pacific Coast League. Tonight we get the week started with the first of four between the San Antonio Missions and the Nashville Sounds. Stepping into the box, Corey Ray. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 1-1. One -one. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Not the warmest night you'll see around here and even 50 degrees at game time. Protecting with two strikes. Went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Oh, and he subtracts there beautifully as this pitch is swung on and missed for the game's first down. In now, Jace Peterson. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Popped him up. Schweihart is right there. And that's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in next, the first baseman slash D.H. Ryan Healy. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Line towards center field. Tavares will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. At the plate, Sam Travis. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Line toward right center. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Digging in, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. High in the air into shallow left center. Rodriguez ranging into the outfield. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Into the box now, Andy Ibanez. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. High in the air out to center field. Ray waits on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Digging in, Logan Morrison. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Up high, two and one now. And he gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. Now here it comes. A struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Striding into the box, Lucas Ersay. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. The 1-1. One, one. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And that's in there. Base hit. That is it. The fifth up. Ronnie. Rodriguez. Stepping in now. Ronnie Rodriguez. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. 
He's set. Here's the 2 2. Morrison on second. Ersig on at first with nobody out. High and deep to right center. Chasing after it is Tavares. But he can't get there as this hops over the wall for a ground rule double. And a bit of a break on defense as only one run is going to score. Lays off two and two now. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Tavares waits on it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2-0 lead. So coming to the plate, Juanjel Segovia. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Now the 2-1. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Full count, three and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. White is there. Two down. So digging in now, David Fry. Runner in scoring position with two gone. David Fry. Two and two count. Here it comes. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Stepping up now, Corey Ray. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. One and two, here it is. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Last half of the second set to go. So here's the cleanup hitter, Shirton Apostle. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Swung on and missed that strike two. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. At the plate, Josh Young. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ray waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So one gun in the inning here with the runner at first. And up next, the former catcher turned utility man, Blake Swihart. Now the one and one pitch. One ball, two strikes, Cam. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Now a throw over to first. Runner at first here, one man out. In the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And he got him. So striding in, Ladarius Clark. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. 1-1. Hopped up. Rodriguez has a play. 
And that's the third out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ryan Healy. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. The one-two. Hard hit to first. He's got it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Logan Morrison. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. 1-1. Uh, one, one. And he fouls this one off. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. So a full count now. Lucas Ersig is on deck. There's ball four. Now in the box, Lucas Ersig. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Runners on first with one down. Pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Gone! In now, Ronnie Rodriguez. In there, one and two now. trying to pick up that outside corner but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes line toward the gap in left center and that's in for a base hit his second in his many trips to the plate now that designated hitter CJ standing in now CJ Inahosa Line toward the alley in left center. In there, a base hit. The left fielder, number 10, Yoanhel Segovia. Into the box now, Yoanhel Segovia. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Now back. Standing in, David Fry reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Into center field, line drive base hit. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. Luke Farrell is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Now for the down, number 50, Luke. At the plate now, Corey Ray. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All even now, two and two. Misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Now back. Second base. Jace. So now to the plate, Jace Peterson. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired.
Striding in, Eli White. And they are squarely into chip away mode, looking at a 6 0 deficit already in this one. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Digging in the switch hitter, Leody Tavares. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Line toward right center. And there's their first hit of the game. Now back out, first baseman. At the plate, Sam Travis. Off speed pitch, just missed inside. And there he goes toward second. That's a strike to throw down. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. The 2-2. Liner toward second. That's in there. Base hit. Throw comes into third now, so they're at the corners here with only one out. The batter number nine. Good job, Isaiah. In now, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Fouled off. Boy, and he rips this ball down the left field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. The one two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Right fielder looking up, still going back. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Into the box, Shirt and Apostle. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Riding in once again, Ryan Healy. A line out and a ground ball for an out on his line so far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Two balls, one strike. The count is three and one. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. The right fielder. So stepping in, Logan Morrison. Morrison. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Ready to take his hacks again, Lucas Erce. As he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And in that last at bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Has a look, now the pitch. The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone and it's even at two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times so he might be looking for it. Fastball is outside. It's full now three and two. Good battle count remains full. Once again, a 
And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Now battle. So striding forward now, Ronnie Rodriguez. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Into the corner and slicing foul. Working for the punch out and the offering. Skied into straightaway right. Young is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. At the plate, Josh Young. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit weakly back to the mound. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Ready for another chance? Blake Swihart, as the switch hitter, will take his cuts left-handed here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitching. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Stepping into the box, Ladarius Clark. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Ray is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Stepping in, now Eli back. White. The second base. Runner on first with two away. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. All set for the start of the inning. Striding forward now is the DH, CJ Inahosa. He singled his last time up. Line drive to left. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. The left fielder, number 10, Yoangel Segovia. Standing in now, Yoangel Segovia. And he misses two and one. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. And that misses for ball four, and it's first and second now with nobody out. Now back. Settling in now, David Fry. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Tavares is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Corey Ray, one for two in the ball game thus far. Here's the one-one. To two balls and two strikes now. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Tried to backdoor him there, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Jace Peterson will be next. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Kiner Falefa is under it. Two gone. Joe Barlow trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Jace Peterson will be the first one to greet him now as he'll do so with runners at the corners and two out in the inning. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. 
A ball and two strikes. I never found myself on the mound in the big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in the jam. That misses, and we're even at two and two. From the belt, the pitch swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And a good throw is in time, and they escape the jam. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Digging in now, Leody Tavares. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Grounded to the right. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Now back, first base. Into the box now, Sam Travis. One one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. And he goes the other way, but he got a lot of it deep down the line. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. To the plate now, Isaiah Kiner Falefa lofted in the air out toward right center. Catch made here in medium deep right center and the runners breaking from third on to third but he's in safely as a run also comes in to score making it a two run ball game coming to the plate now Andy Abanez the potential second run of the inning stands at third the last at bat Matty B we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter and the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one that makes it six to five now. Now back, the designated hitter. Shirtin. Stepping in now, Shirtin Apostle. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Still only one out in the inning. Hit out towards second. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. At the plate, Josh Young. This ball will be chopped foul. Didn't threaten the zone there. Looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. Boy, this has been a different guy in the fifth inning. First four innings on cruise control. Fifth inning. This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Shelby Miller takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. In now, Blake Swihart. Liner toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. In the score, the runner from second. Now he's safe at third as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. At the plate now, Ladarius Clark. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's two and one. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. With one out and runners on the corner, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. Line to the right side. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. The back. The second base hit. Into the box now, Eli White. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Ray is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. Into the box now, Leody Tavares. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Great curveball there. Really fooled him with that one. Yeah. 
Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Miller sets. Here it comes. This is hit softly to third. But little trouble handling this one down there at third as that will end the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. It was a walk in his last trip. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Number 21. Digging in, Logan Morrison. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, North of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Into the box, Lucas Erceg. On the run is Tavares. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. The relay, and he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. The cook Ready for another shot now, Ronnie Rodriguez. And their runners at the corners now. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Hit on the ground out to short. And that is through into left as he delivers. It's a base hit. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip now away at their deficit. It's now an 8-7 ball game. Standing in now, C.J. Inahosa. The count now at 2-1. and one. Two and two. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Ready now, Yuan Hill Segovia. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Payoff pitch on its way. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Now with the play, David Fry, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Three balls in a strike, flirting with a little danger here. In there, and he's taking him as far as he can go now. It's full three and two. Pops this one up. Travis in foul ground. And they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch, so just the one run scores here in the frame. Bottom of the inning now, trying to pick things up where he left off, Sam Travis. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this and that to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Ready once again, Andy Abanez. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. 
This one's down to third. Fielded cleanly to second for one. Relay on to Healy for the double play, and that retires the side. Rafael Montero is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 48. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Corey Ray is working on a one for three thus far. The 1-1. One, one. Line hard toward right center. And that's going to be a base hit. So the possible tying run is aboard here to start the seventh. Now back. Second base. Jake dead. At the plate, Jace Peterson. Pitch inside the throw, and he nails him at third. Great throw. Bases are empty, one man out. Skied into straightaway right. Young is there, two down. Now to the plate, Ryan Healy. No hits to this point. Ryan Healy. Swung on and belted to left by Healy. This one is carrying well. That one is out of here. This game is tied. So now to the plate, Logan Morrison. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. And it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. Shane Carl will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. Number 54, Shane To the plate now, Lucas Erce. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. Gone! You got to be kidding me. Back to back to back home runs. Stepping in now, Ronnie Rodriguez. Two and one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Hopped up, Cabanez is there for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. With the traditional to the plate now is the designated hitter, Shirton Apostle. He's working on a one for two game so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of blooping. And that is through into right field for a single. Into the box, Josh Young. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? There's one. On to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Now at the plate, Blake Swihart. He's one for two in this one. The one-two. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes, you give the pitcher that inside part of the plate and you do your best to cover away. <laughs> Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Ladarius Clark, who represents the possible go-ahead run here, waits in the on-deck circle hit pretty well out toward right center field ranging back is Ray but he can't get it as it's off the wall Young ignores his coach he's chugging for home and he's safe at the plate as it's now a one run ball game Ray Black will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season standing in now Ladarius Clark Liner towards second, and that's in there. Base hit. 
Throw comes in quickly now, so that tying run will be forced to hold on at third here, that still with only one away. At the plate, Eli White. And this pitch is popped straight up, right around the home plate area. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for out number two. Stepping in, Leody Tavares. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Hit to first. And Healy will take this one himself to retire the side. Ready to begin the eighth. Digging in once again, C.J. Inahosa. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like he got fooled a little bit. A little bit out front, ended up popping out. Expect him to be a little bit more leery of the breaking pitch this A.B. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. Where this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D. Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And the throw forces him to lay out for that one, but he keeps a foot on the bag to record the out. Pitch on the way to one and two now. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger, and the side is retired. Mike Morin is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 47. Coming to the plate now, Sam Travis. Two for three with a double on his line so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. The 2 1. Rolled slowly to first. Healy scoops it up to second for one with no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. Now that is. Stepping up to the plate, Andy Abanez. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and that's the second out. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Shirkin Apostle. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And it misses. Three and one now. Josh Young would be next. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Sent out to straightaway center field. Ray waits on it. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. Brian Flynn enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Into the box, Corey Ray. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Hard hit ball to second, but an Adam ball right to him for the first down. Now with the plate, Jace Peterson. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. 
One run game here in the top of the ninth. Called strike that time and it's even at two and two. Driven the other way but caught down at third. And they're certainly hitting the ball hard enough just not finding any holes here. Two away now. One one. Is taken for strike two. Flynn has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Fouled away. Takes ball four again, and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Standing in, Logan Morrison, and we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field, and this will bang up against the wall. Keeley rounds the corner and is headed home. Oh, and the throwback in is a wild one. And he will score now from first. And the throwing mistake there getting the ball in is going to wind up costing him. At the plate now, Lucas Ersay. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A dive, and he knocks it down. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force. And with that fine play, the inning comes to an end. Jake Faria enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Digging in to try it again. Blake Swihart. He'll swing it from the left side right here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. And there's one down now. Now at the plate, Ladarius Clark. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Popped him up. Keeley is there, and quickly two are gone here, and it's not looking good for the home nine. Stepping into the box, Eli White, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and they know this is going to be a tough stretch on the road. To win the first game of the series has got to feel pretty good. Something to build on for tomorrow. 11 to 9 is how this one ends. San Antonio used a three run seventh to help propel them to the win. Shelby Miller claims the win out of the pen, his first. Jake Faria wraps it up for the save, his sixth. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.